Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the winner, and in today's Fallout 4 video, I'm going to be showing you guys the ultimate guide on how to find some of the rarest and most hard to find building supplies for all your settlements and crafting needs. That's right, today we're going to be looking at things like aluminum, copper, fiber optics, steel, pretty much everything you need to build some of the best and biggest settlements in the game, and they're also some of the rarest and most expensive items to get in game. So let's get the guide started. All right, so we're going to be getting aluminum first and this can actually be found at the Makara fish packing plant hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly it's in the far northeastern corner of the map uh, and if you basically haven't unlocked this it's just a giant factory way up in the far north uh, and we're going to go inside and actually figure out what's going on in here and basically it's just an, a giant abandoned fish factory uh, and we need to make our way to the bottom where kind of like the industrial plant is. So you can ignore everything on top. If this is the first time you've been in here, feel free to explore. But we need to look for this giant elevator or shaft, which is going to take us down all the way to the bottom. So if the elevator's at the bottom, push the button so you can go down there, go down all the way to the floor and simply start to follow the kind of rusted over green conveyor belts. At first, it might look like there's a bunch of fish. But eventually those fish will turn into rocks and then eventually those rocks will turn into the gold that we are looking for and that is these trays right here. There are a ton of trays in this fish packing plant. I don't know exactly how many there are but each one of those trays gives you exactly one aluminum. Now they also do have a weight of one so I would recommend kind of dumping everything before you go in here especially if you plan on collecting the entire bit which is exactly what I did right here. Each one of those trays, like I said, gives us a ton of aluminum. Aluminum is pretty much used for anything that involves some sort of electricity. So wiring, circuitry, lights, defense systems, a lot of things are gonna use aluminum. So I pretty much just cleaned out this entire fish packing plant and it keeps going. Don't think that it's over. Once you get to the other side, you'll notice that there is a ton more aluminum waiting for you to actually take. So that's exactly what I did. You know, I, I just took all the aluminum here, all the trays, and I think at the end I had like over 80 and I might have even missed some. So this is a great way to get aluminum because it is so expensive uh, and it is used for so many uh, building supplies that you need to craft your settlements. All right, now the next supply we're going to be getting is copper. Now what you need to look for is the Milton General Hospital. It's located kind of in the middle of the map. It's right next to Jamaica Plain uh, and it's also a little bit south of Diamond City. So go to the Milton General Hospital. We're not actually going to be going into the hospital. We're going to be going to the parking garage that's right across the street and I've actually visited this parking garage before to show you guys uh, something in a previous video uh, but if you go inside you'll notice that it's this giant maze and it's got traps and all sorts of crazy stuff in here. If this is the first time you've been in here please be a little bit careful. There's a bunch of feral ghouls waiting for you uh, and the traps themselves can be a little bit tricky but what we're actually going to be looking for is on the second or third floor and it's going to be a room that's going to be filled. It's just a bunch of bathroom scales that you need to disarm. However, if you disarm every one of those bathroom scales, you will get a copper and a steel which is pretty nice. Copper, once again, is pretty hard to find. So I don't know how many of these bathroom scales are in this room, but I recommend grabbing all of them because it is a great use of copper. Like I said, copper is used everything for lights, for wiring, uh, pretty much anything you can do in a settlement. You're going to need at least some copper to go along with this. So I recommend you grab all of them. And what's great about locations like these is this stuff will respawn. So if you wait like, I don't know, maybe like a week in game and actually come back, uh, this stuff will actually be here and you can repeat the process over and over and over again because this was not the first time I had been through this uh, parking garage. So you can do this over and over again, but this is a great source of copper and I guess steel if you really want to. All right, the next supply is going to be for ceramics. And in order to get ceramics, we're gonna go to the Wildwood Cemetery. It's located kind of in the middle of the map. It's located just south of Tempine Bluffs uh, and I believe to the east of the Starlight Drive-In. So just head there. Uh, it's pretty easy to find. And basically this is going to be, as it sounds, a giant graveyard and cemetery. Now when you get there, there's going to be a ton of feral ghouls. It shouldn't be anything that you can't take care of. Uh, and basically once you take care of the ghouls, we're gonna wanna go inside of the actual, like, I don't even know what to call them. They're where, like, the special graves go. I'm not really not too sure. Those, like, white buildings. And inside, we're going to be looking for the vases or vases. Uh, and each one of those vases is going to provide us with a ton 
of ceramics. I believe in each one of these little rooms, there's like six or seven or eight little vases that you can actually pick up. Uh, and also, lying around the cemetery itself on the graves are going to be more vases of flowers. So that's something you can go around and take as well. And each one of those vases of flowers has like two to three ceramics, depending on the type it is. So ceramics, once again, very important. Also, you could also go around to diners and grab coffee cups. But I noticed that this location had a ton of vases. So pick them up. And uh, it's a great way to get a near unlimited supply of ceramics. Every time this place resets, you can come back and get some more. And finally, last but not least, I did a whole dedicated video to this location, but I figured I might have some new subscribers or some people that missed that video. Today, we're going to be looking for steel fiber optics and crystals. And this can actually be found in the basement of the Jamaica Plains Mayor's office. I'll have it on the map for you guys right now so you can see it. Basically, go to Jamaica Plains, go to the mayor's building, go to the basement, uh, and in the basement, you'll find this like trip wire laser maze, um, and it's got like 47 different trip wires, and if you disable those, you can actually get steel, fiber optics, and crystals. So you need to be careful. You need to quick save every now and then because if you set one of them off, you're pretty much gonna die. Um, and what's great about this process is you can actually repeat everything. So once you get done with the laser maze, you can literally just push that red button on the wall and all the trip wires will come back and you can disarm them over and over and over again. So that's a great way to get steel, which of course is, if you've seen my live streams, you know I've run out of a bunch. Um, also the fiber optics and the crystals, which are used for the more technologically advanced things that you can build in your settlement. So this is a great method to get those three resources. And last but not least, if you're just not interested in doing anything that I said and going to these locations, I can show you guys where you can actually buy them. It's gonna be in Diamond City Market. You're gonna need to talk to three people. One of them is Myrna. She's gonna have shipments of ceramic and a bunch of other things, so you can talk to her if you want that. You can also talk to Arturo, who's going to have shipments of, I know, aluminum and copper. And you can also talk to a robot that comes out at night. His name is Percy. He will actually have shipments of steel. So once again, that's only if for whatever reason you've run out after doing all the things I've done in this video, or you wanna buy them because you have lots of caps and don't wanna go around to all these places, that is certainly an option that you can take in order to get these supplies. But anyways, that's all the information I have for you guys today regarding how to get some of the rarest building materials in Fallout 4 for all your settlements. If this guide was helpful for you, please be sure to leave a like rating on the video. That would be awesome. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. We like daily Fallout 4 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.